In this lesson, moving forward, I'm going to talk about and also demonstrate different operating system platforms. By its basic definition, an operating system is by far the most important software that runs on a computer. It basically manages the computer's memory, processes, as well as all of its software and hardware. What an operating system does, it also allows you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak computer's language. So you don't need to write any programs to tell the operating system. It just knows how to communicate with the hardware and other software systems. There are several operating systems out there and I've listed a few of them. For example, there's FreeBSD, NetBSD, Open, there's Linux, Microsoft Windows, by far the most popular. We have the OpenVMS, the Mac OS, one of the other operating systems by far is also one of the most popular ones out there. And then of course we have the OS2 and so on. So each of these operating systems, they have the same functionality as far as the talking to hardware and software is concerned, but the look and feel is different. So for instance, if you have a Mac OS, it'll have its own set of instructions, rules, the interface itself, the tools, menus, and so on. If you have Microsoft Windows, it has its own set of proprietary set of instructions and tools and menus. So based on your own preference, you can purchase or buy or use any one of these operating systems. Some of the key functions is, for example, the memory management. So what an operating system does, it manages the memory of your computer. It also manages the processor, the CPU, manages devices, file management, handles all of the security of your computer, controls over system performance, for instance, and importantly, coordination between other softwares and users. So each of these operating systems has its unique functionality and important functions because these functions matter to the user, how it responds to the user. For instance, if the user were to use a certain function, the operating system is the one at the kernel level, for example, or the core level, tells the software how to get the message to the user. So think of this as being able to provide different functionality in a more efficient manner and easier manner to the user itself. Because the bottom line is obviously the user who is actually using the operating system and other softwares and accessing different hardware within the actual computer. So the operating system's job is not only to function internally, but also be able to provide an efficient outcome to the user. Next is the concept of multitasking. Important concept, and I do want to mention this, is basically, for instance, multitasking within an operating system is allowing a user to perform more than one computer task, such as, for instance, the operation of an application program at a given point in time. So you could have, for instance, a word processing program open, such as Microsoft Word, yet at the same time, you're downloading something from the internet. So there are two things happening simultaneously, and that's what multitasking is all about. Next is the virtualization. Another important concept, and you'll hear this buzzword several times within the networking industry. So virtualization is simply the creation of a virtual rather than the actual version of something, such as an operating system. You can have a virtual operating system on your own computer. So you can run multiple OS on your computer or a server. It could be a storage device or network resources. So you can virtualize several things. So in this lesson, just briefly, I talked about different operating systems functions of different OS, and then concept of multitasking and virtualization. Next, let me in fact show you different operating systems. I'm going to show you Linux and of course Windows, which I'm currently using. And I'll also demonstrate the virtualization so you actually can see how two operating systems can be seen on the same computer. So here, for example, I have the Oracle Virtual Machine or Virtual Box Manager. 
and it contains different operating systems. So for instance, I have the Linux, right, or the Kali Linux installed. It's actually an operating system by itself. Now, even though I'm running Windows, so for instance, if I were to just navigate to my Windows apps, notice all these apps are here, and I can simply navigate to my Windows and start opening any one of these programs on my machine. Similarly, if I go back to the Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager, here's Kali Linux. It's an operating system. If I were to select the actual Kali Linux, for example, and click Start, it's going to open up the actual operating system. And now that operating system has nothing to do with the Windows operating system. Now I'm operating here in the Linux OS. So this way, the virtualization is a powerful aspect where you can run multiple operating system on your own computer. You can have Mac OS, you can have any other operating system as long as you create different virtual machines. So just to give you a high level overview of what different operating systems and how you can have those on your own computer. So notice once I'm in this operating system, for example, the Linux, I can now navigate to any folder I can bring up other files and I can even open up a browser as well. In this instance, it's called the Ice Weasel. So if I click on this, for example, it's just going to open up a browser and I can simply navigate to any URL or I can click on any link. For example, it'll take me to that home page. So this way it has its own look and feel and its own set of tools, different menu. And depending upon your own preference, you can either use Linux or Windows, or Mac OS, or any other type of operating system. So I hope this helps practice, and let's move to the next lesson.